Hi guys, welcome back to Fibers in the Wind. And in today's video, we are going to be doing an official product review of the Ashford TV3. If you didn't know, this is my brand new and first ever spinning wheel. I'm learning to spin. Um, if you like all kinds of fiber art related content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it. Also, if you notice that the quality of the audio in this video is not as good as quality in some of my other videos, it's because I'm not using my microphone because I would rather not have the long lengthy cord in view. It would come across the video because you're quite far away from me actually. So today I would like to just do a review. I've had this spinning wheel for a couple weeks. Please keep in mind that I've only had this spinning wheel for a couple of weeks now. So I am very new to spinning and operating this piece of equipment. Also, I do want to apologize for the noise of any vehicles going by. My sliding glass door is open and we are kind of right on the road. So there might be the occasional car that goes by. So I am spinning this um, pre-carded wool. Before we get into this, um, what I think about this spinning wheel and the reveal of it, I would like to give a shout out to the Lucky Eel Farms. If you, um, no, it's actually called the Lucky Eel Farm. If you are local to the San Juan County area, I highly recommend the Lucky Eel Farm. I bought half a pound of their brown professionally carded sheep roving. Really easy to spin for beginners. Um, this bobbin down here is actually the second full bobbin. Well, first, really first full bobbin of yarn I've ever spun because the first bobbin of yarn I ever spun was not even technically a full bobbin. Um, so shout out to the Lucky Eel Farm. If you live in the San Juan County area and you would like to buy some wool from them, either their brown roving or their unwashed white skirted sheep's blanket, you can officially contact them at luck you can officially contact them lucky you at the lucky you farm dot com. I will have a link to their website if you want to check them out. Again it's the Lucky You Farm if you're in the San Juan County area. I highly recommend it. They're really nice and they can meet up with you somewhere and it's amazing. And for a beginner spinner, I'm just finding that spinning this wool is super duper easy. So shout out to Lucky You Farm. So now let's actually get into the review of this bad boy. I love and hate this spinning wool so very much. I'm going to spin while we talk about this. So the reason why I love it is because number one, it's an Asher, which is supposed to be a good brand. Number two, it's made of mostly wood. Number three, it's beautiful. And number four, it's so light I can lift it with one hand. And a fifth reason why I really like it is that it's a treadle spool. If you unscrew and detach this pull, the treadle spool for easy storage and travel. Also, it comes with three bobbins and a two bobbin lazy cake. So it holds two of your bobbins, it comes with a total of three. And I love that it has a lazy cake attached to it because not all spinning wheels do. And it's just in a spot that's so practical. I got the unfinished version, so it's unsanded, unstained. And I really like that. So, something I don't like about the wheel is the fact that this, for some reason, down here moves way more than it should. Way more than this side does. This side moves a lot too, but this side's really loose. So I need to go in and screw that down more because it's really just coming loose. I think it's loose because I used a hand screwdriver and not a power drill and that's an issue. So it could just be that or it could be a defect in the product, but it's mostly me. Another thing that I do not like about it is that I have um, this set in the smallest groove here of the drive wheel and largest groove on the world, which is precisely how it told me to set it up in the instruction manual. And I notice sometimes when I'm spinning, all of a sudden my drive band will shift from the smallest groove on the drive wheel to the second largest groove on the drive wheel and it will mess up the tension. And so then the scotch tension here, none of that will matter if this shifts into the wrong place. So I'm just going to start spinning. So it feels very comfortable to treadle, 
other than the fact that my left pedal here is the screws are not tight enough or something is not tight enough. So that's an issue. But again, I used a hand screwdriver and not a power drill when I was assembling this. And I did assemble this by myself. By the way, it does come completely unassembled in a box with very easy IKEA-like instructions. It was very difficult for me to assemble only because I've never assembled anything before. If you're really experienced with assembling stuff, I wouldn't worry about it. For you, it would probably be easy. But for me, never have ever assembled anything in my entire life. I thought it was very difficult. I do find sometimes that it is hard to stop and start it going in the clockwise direction. It always wants to go counterclockwise. So I am um, going clockwise and then I will ply it counterclockwise. But I don't have a large bobbin to ply with. I do believe I will need a jumbo size bobbin and a jumbo size slider. I believe is what I will need. But I'm not entirely sure. Because again, I've never plied. So plying is where you take about two or more bobbins of pre-spun fiber and you spin them together. So every once in a while, oops, this is terrible. I want to pull that out because that was not supposed to happen like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to feed that onto the bobbin because it's already been spun to the majority of my liking. We're just spinning it, we're just feeding it back onto the bobbin because it's got slightly tangled. And then we're just moving it along. So you just move this along like this to determine what part of your bobbin fills up. And you want to have enough tension to where it pulls out slightly but also takes up onto the bobbin nicely without ripping it out of your hands. You never want to feel like the fabric is ripped out of your hands. That's one thing I learned. So, all in all, would I recommend this spinning wheel for a beginner? Definitely. I will say that from what I learned in the video, in one of the YouTube videos that I watched, is that you always start out having a love-hate relationship with your wheel because every wheel has its own personality and you have to discover what that is and decide if you like that and if you're able to work around it. Later in life, I will probably buy other spinning wheels and test those out just to see if there's another spinning wheel I like better. But I probably won't do this until this one starts to work out and I need a new spinning wheel. All in all though, I do recommend this spinning wheel for beginners. I bought this spinning wheel on Amazon for $4.89 plus tax and shipping. If you can, try to find a website that does not have tax because after I had already purchased this, I did discover there were other websites that were not Amazon that actually sold it for the same price minus tax. And I paid like $40 of tax on these two guys. So that's a lot. So all in all, that is my review of the Ashford Kiwi 3. I will leave a link in the description of this video as to where you can purchase this wheel if you would like to purchase this wheel. Also, I will leave a link to the Lucky EU Farm if you're in the San Juan County area and need to purchase some fiber. Their fiber, I personally think, is really good. Then again, I'm a beginner, and I don't know how a professional might feel about this yarn. But personally, I like it and feel that it's good. It's really good fiber, and I think for a beginner, really easy to spin. And I find that if I accidentally spin and let go of the fiber and the spin goes into the twist by mistake, it's super easy to just rip that part of the fiber off and reattach it and start over. I found that there's some uh, rovings and fibers that are really easy to do that with and some that are just so rock hard that once your twist goes up into your fiber you can't move it off without cutting it. This one definitely can do that. See, watch. See, that happened.
the twist, skipped this part, and went into the fiber that I did not want. See how easy that was to tear off? It tore off so easy. And I could actually untwist this super easily to the point where you can't even tell it was ever spun. Like, see, I could just... And I found, I've used other fibers that this does not work with. See? And then I can just lay it back over the top and re-spin it. And it's totally fine. So if I accidentally lose my grip and the fiber or the twist goes into my fiber supply by mistake, which is a spot you don't want it to go, you never want it to go into your fiber supply. You always want to want to let travel up the fiber supply after you grasp, is what I learned from some YouTube videos I watched. But I found that this particular fiber, it's easy to just rip off and start over using that same fiber. So I love this spinning wheel, it's really amazing. But I also just wanted to give a shout out to the Lucky Ew Farm here on Bunta's Island. They have amazing wool for spinning. So that is pretty much my review of this beautiful wheel. I really do love it. It's amazing. It's a very good beginner wheel. Again, I think this moves too much just because I didn't use a power drill. And all in all, for a beginner, I think it's a great wheel to start out on. Definitely recommend checking it out. I will leave uh, some links in the description of this video as to where you can purchase this. This is the Ashford Kiwi 3 spinning wheel. It's very, very portable. So if you like this video and this kind of content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon. That way you'll get notified I have, every time I upload a video. And thanks for watching. I will catch you in next Wednesday's video.